South Korean YouTubers and ethical behaviors to get viewers are crossing the line. Recently, notorious child rapist Cho Do Soon was released from prison after serving only 12 years, and YouTubers went to his home to broadcast. Then the police even had to book some YouTubers for excessive reaction on their live broadcast. In response to public opinion, many YouTubers did provocative live broadcasts, such as threatening to visit Cho's residence and violently assault him to retaliate for his crimes. Police are considering arrest warrants for YouTubers who kicked a Ministry of Justice convoy that was used for Cho Do-soon when he was released from prison. Ansan police station in Gyeonggi province said on the 16th that it is considering three people, including a YouTuber, on charges of obstruction of justice and damaging public property. The neighbors living near Cho's residence complained that they not only suffer from Cho's release but also YouTubers' unethical behavior. Some YouTubers screamed in front of Cho's house and encouraged viewers to like and subscribe to their channel if they want to see them break into Cho's house to beat him up. In some of the livestream videos, YouTubers turned off the gas to Cho's residence and ordered food delivery in front of Cho's house. An official from the police said the incidents were reported all night long, so they restricted outsiders, such as YouTubers, from Cho's residential area. Currently, YouTubers without ethics are pointed out as a social problem in South Korea. A popular YouTuber falsely disclosed a famous restaurant for reusing the food and apologized, but public outcry over his wrongful action is not easing. Korean mukbang YouTuber Haiyan Tree disclosed a renowned local food restaurant for reusing the food via his YouTube channel, saying there was rice inside the main dish. However, it was later clarified that the rice went inside when he was eating. On December 15th, the restaurant even submitted a petition with the title, Please make laws and systems so that self-employed people do not suffer from YouTubers' false information broadcast. It appealed, I can hardly understand YouTubers' behavior that disregarded the issue until the video spread sporadically. The fact that I have to close the restaurant that I managed sincerely while overcoming the COVID-19 situation for one YouTuber's false video is just unfair. Haiyan Tree went to the restaurant again to film the clarification video, but the restaurant had already closed its business due to the criticism. Previously in August, South Korea's mukbang YouTubers faced backlash after deceiving fans by not telling them about paid promotions and even pretending like they bought the products to make an honest review content for viewers. After the controversy, some halted their activities on YouTube, however recently some famous YouTubers like Boki came back to the market without an apology. What do you think about this issue? This was Sumi Yu from Korea Now.